So our philosophy changes as we age. And then sometimes throughout that process, something happens in life that triggers us to question, who am I? So someone might pass away or you see an accident or like now we see many of our fellow human brothers and sisters dying because of a virus. So we question what is life all about? So everyone becomes very philosophical whenever we go to a funeral. Everyone, everyone becomes philosophical then. And so now it's very easy for us to become tap into that philosophy. So now our philosophy will change. We start to purify our, purify the way we think. So who am I? That's the journey. That's the first three mantras Patanjali is explaining. That you've done the first two major yoga. And now on the journey towards your third yoga, you're going to have a lot of emotions and issues that go through the mind. Now let's try and quiet it. Let's try and make the mind peaceful. And when we can make the mind peaceful, we can then tap into the higher philosophy. Because our philosophy right now is our perception and it's deep rooted in us. And we call it false ego. The, we have a pure ego, everyone has a pure ego. But then the pure ego is, I am a divine spiritual loving being. But when the ego is falsely perceptive, then we think that I am a male body made up of earth, water, fire, air, ether. And I'm Caribbean. I am Belizean. And these, but these are all temporary identifications. And as soon as we identify with something other than our true spiritual self, that's when tension is created in the mind. So um, if you go through the immigration, right? They give us a piece of paper to fill out. How old are you? The yogis understand, okay, this paper I need to fill out is referring to the philosophy of this body. But I'm a spiritual being completely different than the physical body. So I have to be practical when I fill out that form. How old are you? Eternal. What's your nationality? Spirit. You know, they won't let me into the country. But uh, I have to fill it out according to the norm of the society. For, that's the philosophy of the body. But this body is only moving because the spiritual being is within it. So when we connect to the spiritual being, that's when we can start to purify our previous philosophy. And our philosophy is developed from our culture, which we are born into. We are born in, like I'm from the Caribbean, so I have a Caribbean psychic condition. We are born in Asia, in Africa, in Europe. In wherever part of the planet you're born, you have a certain family psychic conditioning. You have a country conditioning. You have a, so we identify with those so much. And it's so deep that if someone comes up to me and says, Yogi Charu, you're not a male. Right? If I'm not tapping into my higher philosophical self, I'll probably get offended. Yogi Charu, you're not a yogi, right? So saying that I am a yogi is also a false perception. The true identity is I am a divine loving being. But uh, it's so, and that's why Patan says, to calm the mind means you have to first remove all the previous philosophy that's pertaining to the body. When you put that on the side, then you can get peaceful. And it's very hard to do, but it's a good challenge because I think all humans like a nice challenge in life. So a beautiful challenge is to come on the journey to try and figure out who we really are on a deep spiritual self.